Last fall, when Special Town Meeting approved $200,000 for Needham High School to address overcrowding through construction this coming summer, it was seen as a temporary solution to the problem. This May, a home rule petition and a design fund request article will be presented by the school committee as they look for a more long-term solution. On Wednesday, April 15th, Superintendent Dan Gudekanst outlined these articles for the Board of Selectmen at their meeting. We know that uh, in core areas, and this is important, in math, social studies, um, uh, particularly in math, social studies, English, and foreign language, not as much science, but science to a degree, um, that we've had growing uh, class size. In order to accommodate this, a number of options were proposed in collaboration with Drummy Roseanne Anderson Architects, including moving the library to the courtyard and turning its current location into classrooms. But Director of Design and Construction Steve Popper points out that turned out to be discarded on the basis of cost. It turned out to be the most expensive, fairly expensive option. Popper presented the two best scenarios. Option B involved building classrooms in the courtyard, while option G was to build an addition along the east side facing Webster Street. With the group leaning towards option G, Popper presented the next steps. The intent was to take the, the scheme, the preferred scheme, and do a developed estimate on the cost, which is where we are right now. The other area seeing overcrowding is the cafeteria. With tentative plans calling for a 2,500 square foot addition to accommodate another 200 students, Superintendent Dan Goodykans explains why the cafeteria seems to be an easier fix than the classrooms. Classrooms are more complicated when you talk about utilization rates and, and program trade-offs and, and all that. The cafeteria is add those seats, put a roof over it, you're done. Initial estimates have the cost of the project coming in at one million dollars more than initially projected. With town meeting only a couple of weeks away, this worries some members of the board. One of my concerns is when we're going to get a hard number and if there's really enough time to vet this project with the our board and other boards going to town meeting. With a hard number for construction not likely to be known until bids go out before November town meeting, Selectman John Boolean thinks that the time to act is now. Delaying this delays <coughs> what I see as number one, we're overly utilized in our space. Number two, I think the enrollment projections are more likely to go up than go down and I'm comfortable spending a smaller amount of money now than looking back and saying in five or ten years, wish we had done that. Should the design funds be approved, construction funds will be sought in November and work would likely be done in the summer of 2016 with an eye towards a fall opening that year. For the Needham Channel News, I'm Josh Eilberg.